people. People are the most important thing in the world. And if I don't have enough people, then I can't do the things that I want to do. Too many people are caught up in like the nitty gritty of relationships when in truth, when you have a person in front of you, then they're the world. And you're their world for them. I mean, how hard is it to have an experience with someone and truly embrace it and live as if it was the best moment in the world? You see, relationships often are complicated. People seem to go behind people's backs. People seem to be consumed by jealousy, hate, and worry. When, in truth, the problems that they're having are not problems that should be had at all. And these problems always require solutions. And it's crazy to me how you can be in a position where the things that you need to do with that person is so much more than you're willing to do. And when that happens, the relationship becomes impossible. People leave each other. People don't do things with each other anymore. People think that, you know, I don't need this person. And then the relationship falls. The truth is, I need people. I need people to help me make my dreams come true. I need people to discuss about certain things. I need people to, well, what else? For love, for passion, for, you know, to have fun, to make my life worth living. And it disappoints me when, you know, things get in the way of our relationships. And you know this, if you ever had an old friend that you don't talk to anymore, if you ever had a relationship, um, a committed loving relationship, which fell apart, you know how difficult it can be and how the new world that exists after the relationship is broken, you know? But I feel like there's so much complications in terms of all these things that you don't need to be that complicated because in truth, everybody's trying to go on top of each other. Everybody's trying to win over each other. Then the, here's the thing, when you win, the other person loses. And if you're with someone who lost, then you ultimately lost. So it goes both ways because when you're a winner and you make other people win as well, then you're a winner surrounded with winners. But that's a problem that um, is getting solved, obviously, but I mean, what else can there be? Emotions, feelings. I mean, I felt bad around certain people, but it doesn't mean that I should leave them. It doesn't mean I should, you know, move away from them. Think about all the struggles and pain that you go through to do anything. You know, you're not supposed to have that pain either, but when you're with someone and it's not all that, think about the relationship you have with someone else. It's just different. Maybe it's as painful, maybe it's not as painful, but in truth, it's way more difficult than you think when you think that it could just be so much easier. And my solution basically is, well, look, if somebody is, you know, painful or, you know, it just hurts to be with them because it's not pleasant, well, that just means that you need to focus somewhere else. You're focusing on the wrong things about them. You're focusing about the wrong things that's happening in the situation. You're able to focus on something else, like anything else, like even if it's your phone, then that person doesn't really bother you anymore, does it? doesn't mean you should, uh, you know, ignore your feelings. You should definitely follow your feelings, like I've said in another video, but you should definitely make sure that your relationships are not getting broken, that you're not breaking your own heart, that you're not causing yourself unnecessary pain just because of something that's transient as opposed to seeing the opportunity that relationships, old and new, present for you in your life. Oh, that's my message for today. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the